Welcome to Sarah Scoop. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the top 10 Niall Horan songs. Niall Horan is a world-renowned musician who's been adored since he first began his career with One Direction in 2010. The Irish heartthrob and former boy band member has been making his own music since the band's hiatus began in 2016. Niall recently released his sophomore album called Heartbreak Weather in March of 2020. It took about a year and a half to create and was well worth the wait. Each song on the album represents different phases and perspectives of those experiencing a breakup. Number 10, Seeing Blind. Seeing Blind featuring Marin Morris is definitely Niall's token country music song. The acoustic guitar and those chords are unmistakably country. The two collaborated to make a call and response song about a love that took them both by surprise. During an interview with Music Choice, he explained that after writing the first line of the tune, he knew it needed to be a duet. After seeing Marin's success at the Grammys, he wanted desperately to collaborate with her, and fortunately, she said yes. The two even surprised her fans by performing the song together at her London show. Number 9, Nice to Meet Ya. This track was the first single from Heartbreak Weather, and it is both incredibly catchy and undeniably sexy. Niall has a knack for writing songs that make you want to move, and this is no exception. The music video is just as cheeky as he is and got over 38 million views. Niall sat down with Capitol Records to explain the song's significance. The song's about a real night out when Niall caught eyes with a woman and the rest was history. He explains, like I said in the song, I felt like every time I turned around she disappeared. When talking about the music, he jokes, everything is a bit all over the place and I kind of like that about it. The guitar riff was written first, and the other instruments followed suit. Number 8, No Judgment. With No Judgment, Niall wanted to sum up that phase of a relationship where you get a little too comfortable with your significant other, and boy did he deliver. It's a special bond where you can be completely and utterly yourself around someone else. It can also get a bit weird. Niall hit the mark with his hilarious music video, which got over 9 million views on YouTube. The chorus states, when you're with me, no judgment, you can just be yourself, proving yet again that Niall would be the best kind of boyfriend. Number 7, Still. This ballad ends the album in a beautiful way. The softly sung chorus says, Tell me what you want, a thousand miles away from the day we started. But I'm standing here with you, just trying to be honest. If honesty means telling you the truth, well, I'm still in love with you. Niall really lets us into his heart with this one. We know from Niall's time on BuzzFeed Deep Cut that he wrote this song in one sitting on a guitar that was effectively out of tune. He opened up that when it's something sad and you've written it that fast, you know it meant something to you. We also know from the interview that the lyrics first made their way out of his head onto a leather-bound book. Goodness, it's like this guy comes straight out of a Jane Austen novel. Number 6, On the Loose. No matter if you listen to the original or the acoustic version, this song is a bop. It's about the push and pull or the chase of a relationship. It's dangerous, the can't stay away from it even though you know you should kind of infatuation. The bridge of the song says, she'll run with your mind and pull you in tight, then trade you in for something new. I know what it's like, I fell for it twice, and now I'm just warning you. This song debuted Horn's own style of rock that would follow him through his career. In 2018, Niall told Rolling Stone that the way he ensures that his music stays personal is by creating it alongside his friends. Niall posted a behind-the-scenes look of the music video, which revealed the song's muse and the filming locations around LA. Number 5, Black and White. During a BuzzFeed UK deep cut interview to promote the album, Niall picked Black and White as his favorite. He explained that the time in the studio while writing that song was one to remember. The whole time we were in the room listening to the song, I had goosebumps. If the song flopped tomorrow, it probably wouldn't make a difference to me because the feeling I had when we were writing it was just unbelievable. And I think for that reason, it will be one of my favorite songs that I've ever written. Niall made a lot of dreams come true by writing this classic, upbeat, first dance wedding song. The imagery, yeah, I see us in black and white, I promise that I'll love you for the rest of my life, see you standing in your dress, swear in front of all our friends. It's incredibly sweet. Number 4, Small Talk. Niall Horan wears a smug little smile because he knows how to write a song that can make anyone feel sexy. This bouncy, beat-driven song is anything other than subtle when it comes to its provocative tone. The lyrics, tell me what you want because you know I want it too, let's skip all the small talk and go straight up to your room, make it very clear what kind of song he's writing. One of Insider's music reviewers had a lot of praise for this song during her first listen. She commended, so far I'm super impressed by Horan's ability to craft a song that gets better and better as it goes on. Trust us, you'll want to crank up the volume on this one. Number 3, Put a Little Love on Me. This fan favorite has a special place in Niall's heart because it was the first song to make the cut for Heartbreak Weather, and he wrote it within an hour or so. The words describe the heartache of a breakup that lingers long after the relationship ends. Niall undoubtedly drew from his own experience with Heartbreak to write these bittersweet lyrics. It's about the awareness of relationships' flaws and the questions that remain. Is it wrong that I still wonder where you are? Is it wrong that I still don't know my heart? And are you all dressed up with nowhere to go? Niall's vocals in the song are enough to make you melt. The line, I've still got so much love beneath my skin, proves Niall's innate ability to put words to feeling. 
Number two, Finally Free. This might be one of Niall's lesser known songs as it didn't appear on either of his albums. Niall wrote this single for the Warner Brothers animated movie Smallfoot that came out in September of 2018. The rhythm of the acoustic guitar with a time-honored happy-go-lucky melody that's perfect for any animated adventure created a windows rolled down kind of song. And finally, number one, This Town. Although it was difficult to pick Niall's number one song as a solo artist, the decision had to be made. This Town was the first single that Niall released after the hiatus of One Direction. Fans were ecstatic that he was finding his own sound, and it is just the most quintessential Niall song to date. This tune is a track found on Niall's first album, Flickr, that came out in September of 2016. Niall says the song's about his hometown of Mullinker and all the nostalgia that inevitably arises when he goes home. While it's meant to connect with everyone, it's definitely based on his personal experiences with childhood crushes and young love. Well, there you have it. This has been Sarah Scoop. Don't forget to like and subscribe.